Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna show you how to create a Flutter plugin. A Flutter plugin is an API in Dart to run a platform native code. I'm gonna create a simple plugin to open those alert messages in uh, iOS and display toast messages on the bottom of for Android. There are some iOS libraries to show toast messages similar to Android ones, but I think they aren't very common, so we're gonna use the default uh, iOS uh, UI elements. And what I'm gonna do today is create an uh, iOS version first, then Android, and then I'm gonna show you how to distribute it uh, through GitHub. Let's create a new project. Flutter plugin. Right, we've got a sample project. Here's our uh, Dart API to get a platform version. And there are Android and iOS implementations. Here they are. And a Flutter example. Let's run this first to see what we get. Here it is. Now it's better to edit iOS version in Xcode because it has a great support for you. But first let's actually declare an API method. It's gonna be a static void method to show a toast message. And here we've got our channel. Invoke method. Then comes the method name. And the arguments. It's gonna be a map passing our string uh, message. All right, that's it for declaring the API and now let's go to Xcode. Which one? Probably this. And the thing here is that you cannot open iOS uh, directory just through Xcode, you need to open an example, iOS. And then you can navigate to the files to edit our plugin code. I want to edit this file, Flutter Toast plugin. So you've got two inputs, Flutter method call and Flutter result. So first thing is to figure out which method was invoked. You do this by call method is a string and if it's a show toast then we're gonna use iOS native APIs to show an alert message Gonna add a OK confirmation action.
Alright, let's check it out. Uh, what's here? Right, here is an iOS alert message. And uh, now we're done with iOS. So once again, what I was editing is a file in iOS, a Swift file, this file, here it is, in the root uh, directory of my project. All right, now let's implement the Android part. I'm gonna open uh, a Kotlin file in the Android directory. Basically the same thing to inputs here. First checking for the method. Yeah, autocomplete for Kotlin doesn't work this way, so I need to open an example actually. And then I think right here it is so I managed to open the example directory and here I've got two modules now finally I think autocomplete is gonna work yeah now it's fine so for Kotlin I need a context which I can get from from this class a message and the duration right let's try it and actually let's open it from here alright here is my toast message so again if you have troubles with autocomplete in Kotlin uh, switch back to Java it works uh, from the root directory all the time and now let's distribute this plugin through the github we don't even need to deploy it to pubhub it works just like with the Swift libraries where you can download a library directly from GitHub. So, um, gonna op uh, actually, I need to commit all those changes. Now I'm gonna open my previous project and uh, add this dependency to my from my GitHub. I think I need to change my name to right like that. And now let's use this library to show a message in init state. Alright, here is my message, and that's basically how you create plugins in Flutter. This way you can access native APIs that you want, and Flutter does not provide for you. So you can get the source code in the description, click like if you liked it, subscribe, I'll talk to you later.